taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're gonna talk about Zen on a Pulse Chain. So I actually did mint a Zen NFT day one. Okay, I didn't do it straight away. As you can see, my rank is six one five six nine. So you know, I, I probably uh, uh, you know the gas fee that I paid probably wasn't as high as it would have been if I was one of the first. <laughs> but it was still high. It was about three hundred thousand PLS. And I waited because originally it was about 500,000 PLS. I didn't want to pay that much. Even 300,000 is a lot of Pulse Chain to mint one of these Zen NFTs. Uh, by the time I redeemed it, because it was a one day mint, and, and I didn't redeem it straight away, otherwise I would have got more out of it. I got about 200,000 PLS out of it when I minted the Zen NFT. 128 VMUs, 200,000 PLS. So I actually lost hundred thousand approximately a hundred thousand pls so not quite profitable to do a one-day mint if i would have done a two-day mint i probably would have made a profit so a two-day mint would have done me better instead okay guys but that is the journey that's I, i've been a guinea pig and i've shown you um now i would have if i would have sold the top um you know i would have made a profit regardless okay this is the pls the pzen WPLS wrapped PLS chart pull chain chart. Um, so as you can see, some people did manage to sell the tops and like dump it all the way down after somebody added liquidity. So I basically sold the bottom. Okay, it is what it is. Um, minted a VMU, sold it, and and you know th that is the story on that. Okay, now even now to mint as NFT, uh, the gas fee is still quite high. Now what? In fact, I'm going to give you an example. 128 VMUs. Really doesn't matter how long you do it, right? But um, Max Max Mint is NFT. It's gonna cost right now about a hundred thousand, a uh, hundred and sixteen thousand PLS. If you just leave it like that and just wait, the fee will come down. I think the lowest that I've seen it today is about seventy-eight. Sorry, seven. Yeah, seventy-eight thousand, seventy-eight thousand five hundred PLS, which I think is still quite a lot. Hence the fact why I haven't done any more. I did consider doing a, a max term one instead of just a one day one. Okay, but um, yeah, it's just a lot of PLS and we really don't know the value of PLS yet considering the bridge isn't open. And, um, you know, I'd rather not be burning PLS at that rate, not knowing what the value of PLS because it could be cost me a whole lot of, you know, PLS could be a lot more valuable than what we've seen. Gas fees are increasing as we speak um, a lot more than what they were before. But um, yeah. Uh, one thing I would say is uh, something I don't understand is that Jack Levin has been fudding Pulse Chain right now. Um, I'm going to put something on the screen. He done a live stream or, or a Twitter spaces saying, you know, Pulse Chain sucks, which, you know, I'm not sure why he's doing that. Uh, I know he's got his issues with Richard Hart. He also said a main net without a bridge is called a test net. Now, in my opinion, Jack Levin, you, you he's launched on Pulse Chain, like you're using the network, you're funding your own project by funding Pulse Chain. Surely, by launching it on Pulse Chain, you want people to use it. So to come out and start funding Pulse Chain and dissing Pulse Chain, it really doesn't make sense. You're just funding your own project. I know he probably he probably sacrificed into Pulse Chain as well. He's funding your own bags. I know you probably don't care, but not everyone's as rich as you. I would assume a lot of people got into that as well. So it really doesn't help to fund. I mean. You know, if you want to be a champion of crypto, you're going to support other projects rather than put them down, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I just don't get it, you know. And all this focus on Vampire X, VMPX, and, you know, like, like at the end of the day, many of you are probably making money on it. I don't know. I, I didn't get into it. I haven't done any BRC20, although I do intend to dabble. But um, maybe once the network gets a little bit more mature, the best, best time to get in is early. But identifying what is good and what's garbage is obviously not easy at the moment uh, obviously you know jack levin launch project vmp it's probably good right when the next one he launches buffy the vampire slayer buffy right so another brc20 project you know obviously a lot of people will be saying yo focus on zen you know what i mean but um yeah it's just my opinion i don't know why he's fudding pulse chain it really doesn't make sense it's not very helpful it doesn't really look good to me uh, it's just my opinion let me know what you think in the comments but um yeah i just wanted to give you that update about zen on pulse chain at the end of the day zen crashed multiple networks it crashed brc20 uh there was no problems on the bitcoin 
network, BRC20, before Zen got involved, right? So, uh, uh, it crashed, look, it increased the gas fees massively on Ethereum, uh, crashed, look, like, you know, did the same thing to, like, BSC, maybe not the same, but, you know, I don't think it's a fair judgment to make uh, on Pulse Chain, considering it's not performing as well um, yet. Uh, do you know what I mean? Especially with, you know, everything that's going on. It's only just launched. The bridge is not, it's not completely ready yet. There's no bridge, um, you know. So I, it's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. I'm an investor in Pulse Chain as well at the end of the day. So I'm not going to go ahead and FUD Pulse Chain. I think it's great. I think it's what it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, which is take some of the uh, burden off of Ethereum anyway. Uh, gas fees are probably still much lower than what they were on Ethereum. So, you know, uh, it is what it is. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to make that quick video, give you my, my take on things. Okay, guys. Um, I won't be minting any more NFTs on Pulse Chain, um, at least for now. Okay. Um, and yeah, it is what it is, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. And uh, that is the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.